Dear students, you are welcome in the Education Department at Shahid Association. Our lesson today is about trigonometric ratios. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more lessons and don't forget to click the bell to stay notified. So in this lesson, we will identify the trigonometric ratios in a right triangle and we will learn how to use these trigonometric ratios to calculate the missing angles and length. Trigonometric functions. We have seen in the engage and explore section how we can find the opposite side for a certain angle and how we can find the opposite angle for a certain line and how to define the hypotenuse inside a right triangle. Now let's define the trigonometric functions. The trigonometric functions are real functions which relate an angle of a right angled triangle to ratios of two side lengths. This means that the following rules are only applied in case of a right angled triangle. Here we have a right triangle ABC and we have an angle Pata CBA. The side AB represents an adjacent side for angle pata and the side AC is the opposite side for this angle and we know that the hypotenuse is the opposite side for a right angle. Let's learn this trigonometric ratios. Cosine pata equal to the adjacent side over the hypotenuse which is equal in this example to AB over BC. Sine Pata equal to opposite side over the hypotenuse which is equal in this example only to side AC over BC. And tan Pata is equal to opposite over adjacent which is equal to AC is the opposite side for angle pata over the adjacent which is AB and this side is an adjacent side for angle pata. The hypotenuse is not included in this formula. So you can use this formula if you have tan pata and you don't have the length of side VC or the length of hypotenuse side. Let's solve this application. We want to find the missing side length using trigonometric ratios, knowing that angle pata equal 30 degree, and we have the side or the hypotenuse side of length 6 cm. So we need to find the length of AB and AC. We know cosine pata equal to adjacent over hypotenuse and the adjacent side here is side AB so we only need to substitute the given values by the formula so pata equal to 30 and, a, and AB is unknown and hypotenuse equal to 6 cm so by using calculator we can find cosine 30 which is equal to radical 3 over 2 and now we can do cross multiplication to find the side AB or we can cancel 2 with 6 to give us 3 in the denominator and then we multiply 3 by radical 3. In all ways the answer will be equal to 3 radical 3 centimeter and this is the length of side AB. Sine pata which is equal to opposite over hypotenuse and the opposite side here is AC. We need to find it. And we have the side BC. So again, we need to substitute the given in the formula. So sine 30 by using calculator, you can find it half equal to AC over 6. Again, we can do, we can do cross multiplication to find AC. So AC will be equal to 3 centimeters. 6 times 1 over 2, which is equal to 3 centimeters. Let's solve another application, but this time 
we will use these formulas to find the missing angles. We need to find angle beta and angle alpha. We have only two sides, AC with 4 cm and BC with 5 cm. Let's see how we can solve it. Again, we only need to write the rules that we have learned previously. So sine beta equal to opposite over hypotenuse, which is equal to AC over BC. This time, we don't have beta, so we keep it as it is, and we, we substitute the length of the other sides. So the opposite side, which is AC equal to 4 cm, and the hypotenuse equal to 5 cm. Now, by using calculator, we can press shift sign to get this formula. And beta will be equal shift sign 4 over 5. And that's equal to 53.13 degree. Now, we will do the same for angle alpha. So, we write cosine alpha equal to adjacent over hypotenuse, which is equal to AB over BC. So cosine beta will be equal to 4, alpha sorry, will be equal to 4 over 5. Again, we press shift cosine to get this formula. So we press shift cosine on the calculator, 4 over 5, and we press equal, and the answer will be 36.87 or 87 degree. You can read it as 87. After the decimal point, you should uh, read digit by digit. So 36.87 degree. You can add these two angles. They must be equal nearly to 90 degree. Thank you guys for watching. And please do not hesitate to contact with me if you have any question. Try to solve the elaboration section and the worksheet. Also, you can send me your answers. Stay safe and good luck. If you liked this lesson, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more. And don't forget to click the bell to get all the updates.